Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, it might not resonate with everybody, so please do take whatever resonates with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. My information is right below into the YouTube description box and it will be my great pleasure to assist you please don't hesitate. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it is always and greatly appreciated, and I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. This is a reading with Spirit. Spirit has some warning messages for you. Let's go and see what they are. We're going to begin with some self-sabotage. We're going to continue with dream, procrastination, and we're going to conclude with love. Let's begin with some self-sabotage. This is about becoming conscious of how your inner saboteur functions. Now, you are about to sabotage a really big opportunity. Now, is the time for you to stop procrastinating and cease focusing your energy on why you are unworthy of wonderful, of enriching experiences. When you connect to the saboteur, you begin to recognize all of the ways that you pass up some interesting opportunities. Not only opportunities, but relationships which could make you grow could make you learn, evolve, and could ultimately make you become fulfilled. Now the saboteur is terrified of change and guards your heart from that which is very meaningful to you. With the misguided belief that if you don't try, well you know what, you can't fail. It forgets that you don't escape from your comfort zone, you cannot succeed and you cannot experience the love and joy which would fulfill you. On the lighter side, the saboteur can help you connect to your intuition and help you to listen to your deeper wisdom. It can assist you in, de in deciphering a potential dangerous situation from a really exciting one. So you do need to be careful about this, okay? This is about making a commitment to yourself to stop, to, well, to start actually focusing on what your strengths are rather than what your weakness is and welcome the new experiences into your life. Moving on over now to dreams. You need to pay attention to your dreams. They hold a lot of significant insights for you at the present moment. Your dreams, they may provide you with important details about your current health issues or a creative idea that maybe you need to action to make your desires manifest. Dreams, they can also give you clues about what is challenging you emotionally. Now, sometimes your loved ones who have passed over or people that you have lost touch with, they connect to you while you sleep and they offer you some very valuable messages. And these messages, they can give you peace of mind or the strength to persist through challenging situations that you might be in right now. So please take note of both the dark and the light aspects of your dreams. In particular, I would like you to pay attention to any recurring dreams, as they often do hold some significant meaning or wisdom that can help you a lot. Now we're going to move over to something that a lot of us do, and this is called procrastination. Now, you need to change your tune and to stop putting off to tomorrow what you can do today. You are being called to action right now. There have been some very important tasks that you've delayed. So, even if um, it is something that you don't want to do, 
And when I'm speaking about not wanting to do, it could be about cleaning the house, it could be paying the bills, it could be looking for a job, losing weight, doing taxes, studying, and the list could continue forever. But now is the time for you to take responsibility and to start moving forward. The point of power is always right now into the present. This message is showing you that there is an urgency for you to take action right now. It wasn't yesterday, it's not tomorrow, you know, one extra day. No, it is now. You must start. And if you're putting off something that is very meaningful to you, and you're doubting whether you can do it or not. The message is to have courage. Have courage to face your fears and do what you love. Now think about it. What is the worst thing that could happen to you? You can make a mistake. And even if you do, you are simply going to learn from that mistake. put those barriers down. You need to pass over your fears. You start, you need to start putting your life, whatever it is that you want right now, into motion. And we're going to move over now to love. You need to let go of your limiting beliefs about love. Your heart desires more connections right now. Desires love, desires nourishment. You are at a point in your life where you need to learn how to truly give and how to receive love. So, fully opening your heart is going to awaken your vulnerability, sensitivity and fear. In particular, your fear of rejection and maybe intimacy with another person. However, you will also unleash your passion, your inspiration, your greatness and an ability to care deeply. You need to start seeing how great life is and be willing to connect to others. And if you have been holding on to any past pain, then it is time for you to acknowledge, to feel, and to move on forward. Give yourself permission to let people in. Ask for love with all your heart, all your soul, and it will come. Look for something beautiful in every person that you encounter. Focus on feeling good. Whenever you see people loving each other and know that this is coming to you in a form of love of a lifetime of or maybe an incredible friendship. Give yourself permission to experience an open heart. Every time you want to close your heart, take some deep breaths and choose to keep it open even if it hurts. And this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some um, interesting messages that you can um, use. If you do have any questions, you would like to contact me. My information is right below into the YouTube description box. I do wish you a beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages.